Hi everybody, Pamela here with another video. How you all keeping? What's the crack? Don't forget, I put as much information as I can in the video description. You'll find the colours I use and product links to my Amazon shops. So for this video, it was my intention to do a pink kiss feather. So that's what the two cups are for. I prefer the cardboard cups for the pink kiss because they're easier to manipulate and you, I, like, I like a wee point. Yeah, that was my intention. Um, the palette knife was for the stem of the uh, feather and this wee stylus. I was hoping to create wee wispy details um, on the outer edge of the feather. Okay, for today's colours is my usual Amsterdam Titanium White. Um, Deco Art Neons in Electric Blue Thermal Green and Sizzling Pink. And scorching yellow. I didn't use as many today. I needed some bright colours today. So I'm just going around the edges here with the white and leaving no paint in the middle um, so I don't have too much when I lay my paints for the pink kiss. Um, just talking about paints, don't feel that you need to have the best or the most expensive paints or brands. Absolutely not. See, when I started out, I used cheap paints, the, the literally the cheapest paints I could find, and glue, PVA glue and water is my poor medium. And then as I got more experienced and more confident, and um, then I moved up in range, if you like, and expense. Just do what works for you. It's not about having the best of anything. I also used one pound canvases out of my pound store, my local pound store, so, and I got good results with them as well. I personally, I do prefer the better paints now, but back then it wasn't important. Back then it was about learning consistencies and the techniques. Okay, so that's just me putting the white in one cup and then I'll layer the neons in the other cup. Don't forget to shop around for your paints and your brands and stuff as well. I find um, if I'm buying like more than one or like say 10 deco work paints, I can get them from places where they're £3 each, whereas individually they're like £6 off Amazon. Just, you know, does no harm. It's free to look anyway. I haven't done a pink kiss feather in a while and I maybe should have watched one of my last videos because I've, I'm going far too slow. I also started too close to the corner and you'll see what happens when you do that. I don't know why I was going so slow, I was trying to be careful. It's just not really like me to be honest. Looking at this, I probably could turn this into a feather, but that that bottom right corner, that bottom left corner, it's getting too close to the edge. And of course, I get sidetracked, and by the time I come back, it's already over the edge. It's here, yeah, the f there's no going back for the feather. The feather's gone. Yep. This point, um, yep, yeah, I'm just going with the flow. I have no idea what to do next. And uh, yeah, we all know how that goes. <laughs> Here's hoping it ends up a good one. I 
like the top right looked a little muddy for me. Didn't like it. So I decided to layer the cup again. A wee bit of white, why not? Oh my goodness, who did that? Well, what do you know? Little hand spasm. <laughs> I do get a bit of a chuckle when I watch these back when I'm editing them. Yeah, I don't like this either. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> Did some something similar to this a few weeks ago and it was fun and it worked out well, so. get weeks where you're just can't seem to get anything right well that's been me recently but we all know I live in hope so I just keep going until I get something I'm happy with that's the thing your initial pour you may not like but just keep going until you're happy works for me Oh yeah, here comes the marble technique. This technique's a lot of fun. Color, I wanted a wee bit of negative space, but I knew the uh, pores underneath were gonna come through, but I didn't mind that. I do like this model technique, it's probably one of my favourites. I think because, you know, it's very like me, it's kind of all over the place. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I use these star sticks to uh, get rid of the paint drips. And to the paint place out there, please don't come for me. I know how much paint's on that canvas. I know how much paint I wasted. I don't need you to tell me. I've learned my lesson, I'm sorry. So here's the close-up. You know, I did not like this at all whenever I did it. But now I'm really digging it. I do really like it. You can see the pour under coming through the edges. I kind of like that. I think it gives it more depth. I love these lines. All that colour. Those lines are so yummy. That's it for me today, folks. Have a nice weekend. Sun's out here, so I might even be able to break out the barbecue this weekend. Might also have to wear a jumper, but we'll not talk about that. <laughs> anyway, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. 
like and comment to the video I still reply to all my comments and uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask if I can help I will that's it from me thank you bye